everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another Bruce New Reaction. This one is called Playing Hooky. Now, I've played hooky tons of times in my past and also, you know, when I used to go to school. And, alright, let's check this out right here, right now. Go watch the original video. Go subscribe to Bruce New Films. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe, ring the bell, and share. And, yeah, let's get in. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Now I think it's safe to say that most of us were guilty of playing hooky at some point when we were kids. And for all you yep. youngins out there, Me too. playing hooky is where you skip school and you stay at home. I know it sounds like some old-fashioned phrase that your drunk Uncle Rick would say. Ah, oh, what are you, playing hooky from school today? Nobody knows what the hell you're talking about, Uncle Rick. No wonder why you I haven't mean... felt the touch of a woman since the 1980s. But I have to admit, playing <laughs> oh hooky is God. Break from school. And you needed that sometimes because it's hard when you're a kid. You wake up at the ass crack of dawn, you're all stressed out right from the get-go. Ah, uh, hell, I got a math test today. It's on that order of operations crap that I haven't been paying attention to all week. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally and shit. Out of hell that I'm not going to school. Today. Yeah. I pretend that I'm sick, God damn it. Now you gotta That's try a good... to figure out a way to give yourself an artificial fever. So you go and rest yeah. your fucking forehead on a light bright, try to raise your body temperature up to a solid 101, 102. Then you walk out to the living room and lie straight to your mom's face. Hey, uh, I don't feel very good and um I've been My forehead hurts. I've been pooping a lot. How much is a lot? Like uh six times 16 times holy hell we need to get you to the hospital whoa 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 wait a minute wait a minute all right maybe not that much but uh my head feels really hot though good lord you are burning up and you smell like hot plastic for some reason okay you're not going to school today all right yay you, you tricked your gullible ass mom into letting you stay home from school so now you're laying on the couch like it's your own fucking personal gurney you don't even have the decency to change out of your hong kong fooey pajamas for christ's sake your mom's <laughs> pepto-bismol by the gallon make sure you drink all this it'll slow down all those shitty estrogen you've been having I know most oh my god when I was a kid I I, I never had it like my top three favorite it was like Tylenol and realized. stuff I would usually have and then fucking boom, Pepto Bismol somewhere in between. Hell, even as an adult, if my stomach starts going, blah, 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 I get all excited because now I have a reason to drink some goddamn Pepto Bismol. Yeah, <laughs> the best drink. I just kidding. I never had it. Pepto served up with a twist. Good choice, huh? Anyways, what the hell is I talking about? Goddamn, go off on a fucking. This is British, dude. Oh yeah, playing hooky from school. So there you are, laying on the couch like a slug, pretending to yeah. be and shit. Well, now what are you supposed to do? Well, you watch shitty daytime TV is what you do. And shitty daytime TV had all sorts of things to offer. You'd have your talk shows like your Mari Povich, where they do oh, yeah. community tests on the daily. There ain't no way I'm that baby's daddy, Mari. That girl sleeps with everybody. <laughs> you probably fuck a pack of hot dogs. You are day. not well, the father. In, when it comes to four-year-old Smith and Wesson Jr., you are not the father. <laughs> yep. Yep. Soap operas that my mm. mom was totally fascinated by. On the next episode of The Young and the Worthless. Victor, you can't leave. I'm pregnant with your baby. With all the men you've been with, Veronica, there's no way I'm that baby's father. Hell, you probably f a pack of hot dogs with <laughs> A pack of hot dogs? <laughs> what? What? A fucking slut. Uh, yep, she sure is. But out of all the bullshit <laughs> TV shows that were on during the day, there was one show that beat the hell out of all the others. And that show, of course, was The Price is Right. The pr Oh. Now, the Price is the right game show. Everything. You got fucking Plinko, people winning Ford Escorts and shit, Bob Barker yelling at you to get your goddamn pets fixed. And remember to help control the pet population, chop your dog's fucking balls off as soon as- Oh my god, don't- don't do that to the dog. Each other by one dollar and shit. Uh, six hundred, Bob. Very well, what's your bid? Uh, how about six oh one, Bob? Oh, what the fuck? Ooh, that's some shiesty shit. Actual retail price, six fifty. Oh, mother are you fucking serious? Yeah. Damn it, you're a fucking piece of shit. Oscar Meyer Wieners. But after the Price is Right was over, I knew it was all downhill from there. Because I knew it was only a matter of time before my dad got home from work. And then the jig was up. Whoa, what the hell? What's the kid doing home from school? Ah, uh, he was sick, so he stayed home. What? What the hell? That kid ain't sick. Did you throw up or something? Uh, no. No. You've been putting your fucking forehead in that light bright again, haven't you? Yeah, you better take your playing hooky ass to school. Oh. I tell you what. So the next day you show up to school, and of course you have to start bragging to all your friends about your day off the day before. Yep. Hey, asshole, why weren't you at school yesterday? Oh, well, because I was too busy watching The Price is Right and fucking off all day, that's why. Yep. Oh, well, you're an idiot. We had a pizza party yesterday. Wait, what? It was yesterday? Yeah, and then we had an assembly in the auditorium. Oh, what the hell? And the guest speaker was Randy Macho Man Savage. What the fuck? Wow, yeah, you're missing all the stuff. Oh, God damn it, what have I done? So the moral 
of the story is simple. One, don't be an asshole and lie to your mom. Two, learn the goddamn orders of operation. And yeah. Three, take your truant ass to school like you're supposed to. Because you never know when a two-time WWF heavyweight champion is going to be a guest yeah. at your school. Oh, yeah. Never I rarely get I'm sick. Honestly. BruceDew.com Alrighty. Alright guys, go watch the original video, go subscribe to Bruce Two Films, make sure like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later guys, thanks for watching, and deuces.